Which hardware store has the most gold in their sand? That is seriously unreal. That is a thick piece. Look what we found in one bucket. <gasps> I tested sand from Home Depot and actually found gold. Since you love that video so much, I decided to do the ultimate test and see which of these hardware stores has the most gold in their sand. Let's go. So not all store sand will have gold in it because it depends where the sand came from. Since I found gold last time, there is a good chance all of these stores will have similar contents in their sand. La, 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 la. We are back. Now we already know that there is gold in the sand here, but we're gonna grab some anyways just to compare and why not? New bucket. So this is the same stuff that we got last time. So with any luck, there'll be more gold. Would you like an e <coughs> Yes. Thank you for shopping at the Home Depot. You're welcome. So just like last time, I'm gonna put the sand in the buckets and then that way we can know which sand is which. Look at all that gold. On to the next. So I know Lowe's sells sand here, but I'm hoping it's a different brand from the stuff that we just got. Sand, 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 sand. Ugh. Yes, we need a bucket. There we go. Apparently play sand is outside, but I can't take this with me because the alarm will go off. Not again. I think this is the stuff. Play sand, looks like sand. This is the stuff. Two stores down, one to go. So just like before, they have sand on the outside, so I'm gonna have to leave this bucket in here and then go outside and get the sand. I'm driving all the way around because I don't wanna carry the sand through the building. Okay, so the sand is here, but do you recognize this? But I'm hoping it's a different brand from the stuff that we just got. Same stuff from Home Depot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Quickrete. So it's basically a lot of minerals mixed with sand. So you don't wanna use a little bit of water because it will turn into concrete. So we have to use a lot of water. So I'm gonna try two different sands and then the sand that's uh, also kind of concrete. We'll see what happens. <laughs> You're even a flexion back in the Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really like enhancing pictures. No exactly. offense, Paulie. Like exactly. We'll blur him out. We'll blur Paul out. So this bag is actually bigger than the other bags we use, so we might actually have more material to run in the end. I don't know. Okay, take Thank care, you. guys. Thank you. See you later, man. Three stores done, so now it's time to sluice them. <sighs> that was supposed to be way cooler. Back again, more sand? <laughs> I can't be making some good money off that. Oh, I know. Yeah, everybody seems to like it. So we're back, but we have three separate, well, two separate from the last time now. But uh, yeah, I'm actually really excited to see what's in the other buckets. I'm excited to see what Rona has for gold. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna get Paul setting up all the equipment. We wanna run the Home Depot sand first because last time it almost paid for itself. Mm -hmm. So we wanna know if it's consistent across every bucket we buy. Then after that, we got the Rona sand and we also got the home hardware sand. Who knows what's in these? They all get their sand from different quarries. I can't wait to see. We're gonna be rich. We are going to be rich. <laughs> So I'm just gonna make extra sure that there's absolutely not a single microscope piece of fly poop in this sluice before we run the sand to be sure that what the gold that we are finding is absolutely coming from Home Depot. Gold will hide in the tiniest little spot, so we really gotta make sure nothing's in here. Could we replace this water with milk? Um, yeah, we... It's probably better. I have cream. Oh, cream works great. Not one piece of ounce nugget in here. So that is good. This guy. No 10 ounces in this either. All the holes are empty. Now that everything is clean, we are ready to start running the first bucket and I'm excited. So excited! You know, we really did make sure we soaked it and scrubbed every little bit of the rubber mat and then hosed out the sluice. So uh, that's the quality that we're putting into these tests. So what I'm doing right now is just trying to get rid of all the little bubbles because the bubbles will make it so that the gold doesn't fall in the little holes here. And you don't want that. You want every opportunity you can get to capture any gold that is in here. So I'm gonna put water in it because it's gonna make it a lot easier to run it through the sluice. I don't need too much water, but that's, that's probably good. 
All right. Yeah, I don't see any gold, so uh, what that's a it. waste of time. Let's go home. Just gonna dump it all in. Right off the bat, I see a piece of quartz. We got a piece of quartz in there. Oh my god. Doing the twist and shout. I quit. So, as you can probably imagine, this takes a long time, so. Yeah. So all this sand should be coming from local quarries where they're actually crushing it and making this washed sand. This is previously washed sand. But the neat thing about it is that quarries could come from anywhere and minerals are in all rock. So there is a potential that you could get anything in this sand. And that's why it's kind of sky's the limit. And the fact that there's gold in here is absolutely incredible. I think also the last time we ran Home Depot sand, I did find a garnet in there, which is a little gemstone, which is kind of neat. Also, <laughs> there's only so many shots you can do scooping sand. So it's very easy to get bored. I'm gonna do one grain of sand at a time. So I just found the most mysterious thing I've ever found in anywhere ever in life. A hair. This hair, <laughs> this awkward blonde hair was sitting inside this Home Depot bucket. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clone this to figure out who left their hair in my pile of sand? I'm actually just gonna run it. <laughs> Gross. Okay, so 20 minutes later, I'm finally at the last scoop of sand. I'm going to clean this last little bit out and hopefully find some gold. So there actually might be a little bit of gold right here. I'm gonna turn on my flash to see if we can see it. So, oh, where'd it go? Right in here. There's a little bit of yellow. I'm not sure if you can see that. That could be gold. If that's gold, it's actually a big flake, a little bigger of a flake, but also being underwater, the gold's gonna be a bit, it's gonna look a bit bigger. And then Andy said he saw something up here. Yeah, but it's right in that center one. All right, so let's uh, shut her off, I guess. Okay, turn it off. Okay. Well, that is a piece of gold. Is it really? Look, it really is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, baby! Look at that chunk of gold. Home Depot gold right there. We haven't even cleaned it out. That is a nice piece too. It's got shape. You know what that means? Finding gold is a good sign that there's what? There could be other gold nearby. That there could be gold nearby. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Home Depot. High five. Oh, and there's another little micro. There's one there. There's so a one, two, and then three right there. Do you remember if we saw, we didn't see gold last time, right? In the, we in the map? We did not see gold last time, no. I don't think, not that I recall. I don't remember. We're gonna get all this stuff into a pan and then we're gonna pan it out to see just how much gold is here. That's exciting. That is exciting. I'm actually surprised, but that's actually pretty exciting. Visible in the mat. Also, just quickly, Look at all that black sand in there. And I'm actually seeing a lot of garnets in there as well. So maybe Home Depot saw my video and then, <laughs> and then they sourced out this special sand. Who knows? Yeah. I still think milk would have worked better. This is the high dollar value mat. This is where we find out if we got our bag of sand for free. This is the material we have out of the whole bucket. I can almost do the wash back now, but I'm actually just gonna yeah, pan it right in here. I'm actually kind of nervous. My heart's racing. I don't know why this makes me nervous. This is what it, it all comes down to this. This is like Do we get to eat the pivotal tonight? moment. That's right. It's quick to pan out because there's not yeah, there's no the dense mineralization you get from a mining area. Yeah. And I was gonna say, a lot of people say like, oh, that gold's fake because they, it gets screened and the sand's not very big. Look at this. There's an example of you're wrong. You can find some big rocks and in sand. It's not all gonna be perfect, but. That's right. All that quartz that got caught in the rubber mat too, that was all like uh, 20 mesh size or something, like pretty big. Reveal, let's go in the sun. Is there more gold in this bucket than there was in the last one? Look at all Look that at black sand. Look at the minerals sand. and black sand. That's, it's shining like diamonds. That is so cool. I can go out and snipe nuggets almost any time, but I find this more exciting to pan and find fly gold. Look, that oh. is awesome. <laughs> no way. Home Depot, look at that. Oh my That's, gosh, that, that is That is a good respectable leakage. piece. That is a respectable piece. That look is at that. an absolute sizable piece. 
gorgeous chunk. Like a lot of people will struggle to find that. Yeah. Penny and, and a is, good creek. You know what? Like I know a lot of people who spend all this money paying for gas, claims and locations to find less than that. And I literally just went to Home Depot and used the machine for free at Andy's place here and found that kind of gold. Oh my God, there's a lizard. Oh my God, he's gonna break into the house. Andy, what are you gonna do? Get him. But there you have it. Gold, black sand, garnets, Home Depot, earplugs. That, I'd say, is a success. So now that the first bucket is done, it's time to clean the sluice in preparation for the second bucket of sand. Okay, home hardware. <laughs> Don't let me down. Scoop numero uno. Looks the same. I forgot to brush out any bubbles that I saw, but I don't see any bubbles, so I think we're good. Bailey just showed up to help. Hey. He, he's replacing Andy today. Looks like he's uh, distracted looking at all Andy's special Peridot. rocks. There's a random piece of peridot here. I'm trying to pick some, I can ask him if I can keep them. You just take them, you don't have to ask. So we're not even halfway done this bucket yet, and we noticed no gold yet. So <laughs> it's working fine. Dirty water. Yeah, let's just keep going. It's super satisfying to dump the sand in there and watch it just slowly disappear. I could do that all day. In fact, I am. Okay, we're almost done here. Slowly sluicing away. Uh, okay, we were down to the last couple scoops here. Hopefully, we will see some candy in this mat. Get in there? Yeah. Hello. We're gonna let this run for a little while, and uh, yeah. I can't even really see the, the ripples, so I don't even know if there's any visible gold in here, or if there's any gold at all. Okay, first look. I don't see anything. Oh, that might be a little piece of gold right there, actually. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's certainly shiny. I say that is gold, not 100% sure. Okay, a lot of black sand and garnet, so, hmm. Interesting. I almost dumped this thing in there. And so if there's any gold, it's probably going to be in this mat right here. I don't see any five ounces yet. Moment of tooth. Look what we found in one bucket. <gasps> oh my god. I'm just kidding. Imagine if you found that much gold in a single bucket of sand. I would quit my job and just no, I wouldn't. This is actually gold that Andy just cleaned up from his mine site. Would you quit your job? This is at least $250,000. I'd be heading to the playground to get rich. <laughs> so I'm letting Andy pan this one out just because I did the first one and then we might get Bailey to do the third. Maybe. Maybe. I'm just gonna try to find the best lighting here. I'm already seeing a lot of black sand, which yeah, is a is good tons. sign that it could be black sand around. Yeah, one of the, the prime indicators of black sand is black sand. So that, this is a good chance to look at some of the size of the actual grit that's in there. It's not screened that small. Are you excited? Yeah, super. <laughs> super duper. <laughs> if it's coming from the same quarry, chances are it's gonna be the same kind of gold, right? But if it's not, this is where I guess we'll find out. But look at his form. Look at Andy's panning form. He has the bend knees, active toes, the veins right. are popping in the bicep in his hand. Look at his concentration, he's wearing the shades. Home Depot is American, Rona, is Canadian, right? Oh, so it might be some snowballs, maple syrup. Okay, reveal, baby. I see tons of garnets right off the bat. Look yeah. at all the pink. I already think that there's more black sand. Yeah, that's what it looks like. In this than the other one. So, yeah. Wait, you said Rona too. This is home hardware, so not oh. quite Rona yet. Oops. Loser! If there's a piece, we don't want to lose it. Oh, there is gold. You found well, some? Yeah, there's gold already. Yeah. So, okay, that's confirmed. Whoa, and look at that. 
garnet. That is, oh, I lost it. it we'll, we'll find it again. There is a big garnet in there. We can make a necklace. Well, I can see a piece of gold popping out right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's gold and home hardware sand as well. Can we adjust? I just want to go into the sun a bit more. Maybe over here. I see some pyrite sticking out now. There's the gold coming through though. Some gold. <laughs> and look at that big garnet right below the gold, just below. I it. see that, that's a nice, yeah, so bigger garnets, more pyrite, a lot more black sand, but is there more gold? I can't even see my phone screen, so I apologize if I'm not able to, you know, show you guys adequately. Little pieces of gold at the top right, right oh, disappeared. Yeah, they're floating. Is that lead? That garnet, that's a nice garnet. is unreal. Look at that, that's like gem quality. Well, I'll get a close up on that after with the uh, microscope. There's a nice big piece. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> That's chunky, that one. <laughs> That's another nice piece. Okay, so I'm assuming it's the same core, but probably deeper because obviously there's more heavies in this bucket. That is seriously unreal. That is a thick piece. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe how excited I am over sand. That is wicked. Respectable pieces. All right, so I cleaned this up the best I could and this is what we have for that bucket. We have lots of gold, some pyrite, some beautiful garnets, and obviously a lot of black sand. Here's a picture under the microscope. Beautiful. They all look really good, especially the garnets. So I'm gonna suck these guys up and then it's on to Lowe's Concrete. So now it's the moment of truth. The Lowe's bucket. Is there gonna be any gold in concrete? So it's, is there gonna be gold in Lowe's sand heart? Wait, what's it called? Quickrete, so it's sand mixed with concrete minerals. Hopefully there will be at least 10, 20 ounces in this one. You never know. And that hopefully it doesn't harden up in our sluice box. <laughs> We're gonna use extra wet water. <laughs> first things first, we gotta use one drop of water at a time to make sure this sand isn't dry. It's already turning into concrete. It actually looks different too. I don't know if we should wet it first because what if it starts to harden before you get it all fed through? But we don't want to feed it dry either because we could lose gold. Can I soak it? Like just have this full of water and make sure it's constantly soaked or? It will harden underwater if it gets enough <laughs> really? time. Yeah, concrete oh, will. Oh. So because literally nobody has ever sluiced concrete that I'm aware of, we're just gonna dump it in dry and then hope hopefully it doesn't harden. It actually looks way better putting it in dry. So sometimes if the gold's fine enough, it can float on the water. So what we did beforehand is put a little bit of soap in here. Hopefully that stops it from floating if there is gold in this one. So right now Paul's put Bailey in charge of feeding the plant and I'm in charge of Bailey feeding the plant. So I'm just, <laughs> uh, I'm just observing his technique and keeping an overall eye on everything. Nice, easy, easy. Slower, faster, slower, faster, slower, faster. Yeah, yeah, no. So for extra safety, I added another sluice in here just to really make sure we don't lose anything. Something I forgot to mention is that when you're scooping sand, you have to make sure it goes in the sluice box and not on the floor. Because if it goes on the floor, you, you can't sluice it. So we were almost out of sand, so I got Bailey to dump the rest of it in here, and now this is the final bit. Hopefully, hopefully what? Hopefully there's black sand in there. This is very time consuming. Slowly. I'm trying to make this interesting for you guys, but it's literally just the same shot over and over and over again. Better be worth it. This entire sluicing process takes about half an hour each bucket. But since this one had a little more sand in it, it's taken almost an hour. Voila! It's time. Do we see any sign of any signs in any sign? I can already see some black sand up there, but definitely not as much as our first two buckets. I don't really see much black sand in these. Oh, I do see some up here, but is there gold? I don't see anything. Oh, there might be, that might be a rock. It doesn't look like there's much material at all in, uh, in this one. <coughs> all right, this is the, the big one. This is about 
a bucket and a quarter bucket, maybe bucket and a half of material. Like I was saying before, there's not a lot of black sand if you compare it to the last two, and also not a heck of a lot of material. So check out all the quartz in there. Maybe it's gold. It's definitely quartz. It looks like fish tank rocks almost. But obviously the concrete isn't screened as thin or as fine as the uh, sand. Yeah. Just a little bit smaller. And there's not as not a lot of heavies in concrete either. I noticed because this top riffles weren't even didn't feel that full. But there's a lot of black sand. Good it's really sand. dark black sand too. Fine. Yeah. Good sign that there could be black sand around. Way better in the shade. So I already see a little bit of pyrite. Some rocks. Not a single piece of gold. There still could be like micro bits at the very bottom here, but I don't know. Dun dun. <laughs> oh, whoa. whoa. All at the same time, right at the end there. Look at that. There is gold as Those well. Those are great pieces. That's freaking awesome. Really great pieces. That you got some like chunk. super fines in there too, but okay. <laughs> so there's gold in all the sand so far. I really, really want to know where exactly these quarries are. If it's the same one or it's different ones, maybe we'll do a video on trying to locate them and then just take like a whole bunch of buckets and just see exactly what we can find. That is a success. So here is what was in that concrete sand. We have, I believe, four pieces of gold in here, or maybe even five, and a little bit of black sand, but nowhere near as much pyrite garnets or even black sand as the other buckets. Still, a great success. So that is it for this video. Unfortunately, the gold I found isn't enough to weigh, so I won't be weighing it. And this is not a sponsored video. There's no way, shape, or form any of these companies are sponsoring this. Sponsored by Home Depot. I just decided to find sand because I saw other people doing it. I actually recommend you guys going to a hardware store and testing the sand yourself to see if you guys can find gold. Maybe you'll get super lucky. Maybe you'll uh, just waste a lot of money like I did, but who cares? <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, more videos you might enjoy.